we are here guys we are pretty much done with the NTSC game second to last game we are talking about we are covering extreme sports today man you would think that the Dreamcast library would get like weaker with the uh, grab bag of you know games that we're gonna end with but uh, no this game and the next one are not the most boring crappy games this is no Disney dinosaur or anything like that. So this is extreme sports. What do we know about extreme sports? Well, I've played it before, and the gameplay kind of changes when you are changing little mini games. You do these little um, obstacle course type things, and I don't know. You like take a mountain bike down a hill or something, and then you hang glide stuff along those lines. Looks like you got dune buggies too. This game looks really cool, and I don't know, it might be really cool the more you play it, the more that you understand the, uh, you know, game schematics. And it's just one that's not really talked about or remembered very fondly, but hey, here we are, we're going to talk about it. I normally do these games in fours. I record the intros for two NTSC games and then a Japanese game and a repro game or just two Japanese games or just whatever I feel. That's what I normally do. I switch it up a little bit, but that's what I've been doing. Now I have more time to talk about Japanese stuff. And I ordered some more Japanese games because my birthday's coming up and I figured, hey, might as well just do that. So, that's cool. Um, so, we're going to be focusing on uh, more repro games, more Japanese games. I need to finish up some uh, European exclusives, the PAL region type stuff. And, yeah, this is Extreme Sports. And, you know, we've covered so much on this channel. The NTSC games are coming to a close. And it's just the end of a chapter of my life. And it's been an honor doing this with you guys. And, you know, for all of the positive people and the awesome people with the comments and stuff and all of the good views and thumbs up and all that good stuff, you know, thank you. Thank you for that. You guys are amazing. I say it all the time, but I mean it. And, yeah, extreme sports. Let's hang glide and do all this and just have a good time like we always do. Sometimes you got to go by a prayer and a Bible verse. Five, five. My birthday's coming up, and I wanted to put a picture of my dog on the cake or a xenomorph popping out of the cake. You know, we have so many options, or just one of their like stock photo cakes, just whatever. You know, this makes me think of Rip and Riders, the presentation, the demo movie. You will see. Got some dune buggies in the sand. Little old dune buggies in my hand. You guys remember? Presidents of the United States of America. I really like their album too. And I think that a lot of people did not appreciate that album. But that's a very good album. That's probably my favorite from them. I always talk about random stuff. And I do not premeditate this. Graphics look great. This makes me think of Sports Jam. The gameplay just kind of switches as you play like we said. Yeah, man, Rippin' Riders all the way. Um, this might be better than Rippin' Riders. I just always got stuck in that one. Looks like you can do some basic snow snowboarding skills. Oh, we got the hang glide. Oh, no. Yeah, I remember it being hard to steer, but uh, yeah, let's go ahead and hit that start button. What we got? Uh, I want to do single track real bad. Championship's cool. Practice, that's what you need. Bonus track, that's cool. I guess I'll check that out. Internet option, man. I love that a lot of these games have internet functions, but uh, a lot of them are defunct. Let's just be honest. Ripping riders. Gripping gliders. Man, I've been laughing lately. 
been hanging out with my mother. We've been talking about dog scooting. I was looking up a video about a dog scooting, um, like dog scooting compilation with classical music. It's hilarious if you can just, uh, I'm sure if you search for dog scooting compilation classical music, it, something will pop up. Was that hang gliding or something? Um, hey, Boo, Nina, the Pinta, the Santa Maria. We got right Raga, Noel. I have a cat named Noel. Um, it's an abandoned stray cat that is uh, very rude. Won't let you pet her. I think her previous owners probably like picked her up too much and might have scarred her. So it kind of sucks. So I don't even know why I feed that cat. Um, calf, catheter. She's a nurse, and they call her Cath for that reason. And yeah, she, she's got those jerky motions. You don't want her on your floor. You don't want her on your unit, literally. We're going to be Raga because I don't want to think about that cat. Alright, his name is Elephant. The music sounds pretty good from the way it sounds. Welcome to Himalaya. Trying to make out the audio on my mini monitor. This looks really gorgeous and awesome. I love the, uh, but it looked like the um, boulders were bleeding or breathing. Yeah, it's crazy bleeding boulders. Some of them uh, sacred statues that bleed. Okay, I'm holding the right trigger down just because of habit. All right, I'm also, uh, I don't know. Oh, I'm having weird dreams. Um, I had a dream that I had like a Dreamcast collection, like uh, just random Dreamcast peripherals and games and stuff. But they were like at a ski resort. Uh, and that's kind of ironic that we're skiing right now or snowboarding. And yeah, beforehand I was um, wrapping myself in a sleeping bag and rolling down a mountain. And I was doing it because it was quicker to do that for some reason. It's like I didn't want to walk down the mountain or ski down the mountain or whatever. So. I just did that. Yeah, I'm doing pretty good. I think I passed everybody. Um, I'm guessing to go this way. The, alien, the uh, aliens, the uh, <laughs> arrows are pointing me. Am I going the right way? What's the dealie? Um, I had another dream. Oh, right in the, right in the, right in the elephant. Hey, hey, we got the. Uh, Hang glide section, that's cool. Hey, did Chloe or whatever pass me? That sucks. I hit myself in the nards and I can't do anything. Yeah, I was at some sort of like church function. I was trying to play some video games and the only place that was able I was able to play some video games like a tournament or whatever was at some sort of church thing. And I had to pay five bucks to go in. I was like, hey, it's kind of cheap or whatever. And, it, you know, but you were able to win candy as you were playing. And I won a ton of candy. And then like... It was late, and I slept over at some sort of, like, fellowship hall or something. But, like, the guy that was running it got really mad at me. You failed, man. Like, in the morning or whatever. I don't know why I was, like, s sleeping with a bunch of kids. Because, like, they were probably, like, 12 year old or something. Like, or maybe I was young at the time, but I don't know. It was weird. Um, there was that. I've been having really vivid dreams lately. But, yeah, the, the one last night was... It was like some Dreamcast collection. I can't steer. I can't steer. What's going on? Oh. You wouldn't let me steer there for a second. Alright, let's, let's try to... Oh, try to hit that bar. This sucks. Um, I'm going to do the single mission. I want to see what bonus track is just because of curiosity. So you got to unlock these, huh? Yeah. Look at that chick with her sticking her booty up in the air like that. What was her name? Noel or something. No, her name was Kath. Single track, man, yeah. Please select your course. But yeah, a, a birthday cake with a xenomorph popping out might be good. Or um, cake failures. But uh, I just kind of want a generic cake, but I don't want anything like... Um, there's something with dogs. It's like pound puppies or something. No, Paw Patrol. 
and uh, where, where did that come from? Is that some Disney thing? What is that? Okay, ATV. ATV sounds cool. Let's do that. Nina. Let, you know, let's let's represent the female side of things and check out Nina. Her name will be Elephant as well. Everybody is Elephant. I ain't gonna lie, man. Nina's cute. Look at them legs. I can't not look at them. The only thing is, strike against her is blondes. There's just too many blondes out there. I like me some brunettes and redheads, but to each their own. That's not to say that a blonde can't be attractive, but it's all subjective, isn't it? Isn't it? I love making these, man. Second to last video. Hey, hey, everybody. Wow, I just heard a weird sound. I gotta check that out real quick. I just heard a weird sound, and it sounded like a stack of books falling or a screen door shutting. Um, so I checked my front door and I checked, I checked to see what was going on and my dog did not react. So it was either my dog, but it's just strange. I've been looking at the you know horror stories online and I guess my imagination is running. I just think it's really weird how the rocks and stuff in the horizons kind of morph. Oh, and um, what do I do to get off? Oh, you got to hit the left trigger. Okay. The graphics are cool and everything, but it's just like weird weirdness with the boulders. Okay, you want to hit them blue balloons. Always a good thing. Points for Nina's legs, everybody. Am I right? Legs, rocks, scrapes, abrasions. Grand Mall Seizures, Petite Mall Seizures. I don't know what I'm talking about, but um, yeah, this is Extreme Sports, and as you can see, I'm not good at this game. But you can cry alone in a closet and make pretend that Nina's your girlfriend. Game over. Story of my life. <laughs> oh. But it's cool. I'm going to have a birthday cake with uh, Jim Ignatowski on it. So yeah, there's not really much else to say. This is extreme sports. I'm not good at it. Um, it looks cool. I like little mini games and I like trying to figure stuff out. I just got so many games on the back catalog. Um, I think an 8 would be a little too much for this review. I think a 7 would be kind of warranted. I always kind of gravitate towards 7, especially if I kind of pity the game. I kind of like this game, but maybe not for all the right reasons. Um, I want to be patient. I want to learn it. I think a part of not liking this game is just because I didn't read the manual. Um, so maybe a 7.8 because I'm kind of leaning towards liking it or the possibility of liking it a little bit more so 7.8 it is um, I just want to give this game more of a chance 7.8 do I recommend um, unfortunately not I do think that it's kind of cool to have a game like this because we don't really have many snow snowboarding games or hang gliding games and stuff we, we do have these kind of mini games like um, sports jam and stuff party games kinda and it's cool I like it whoa I think it's really worth checking into it's way better than Rip and Riders I can tell you that right now and it might be good for a laugh with uh, friends and stuff um, if you're hanging out on a boulder you'll just stop dead in your tracks I keep saying boulder, but just a mountainous rock peak region. You just gotta keep jumping. We all know this is gonna result in a failure, but uh, I think the graphics are kind of neat to look at, even though they kind of pop out weird. But yeah, 7.8, don't really recommend. I appreciate you guys watching as always. You're awesome. Sega Dreamcast out. Got one more to go, man. NTSC, baby. Bye bye. You're awesome. Thanks.